Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm directing to Why Eat Meat? Hindu Academy. So, I do eat meat. I've gone weeks without eating meat. As a matter of fact, uh... I don't, well, I mean, I've gone weeks without eating meat. But it's not necessarily by choice. It's just I eat whatever's available at the time. Um... But yeah, um... So I know... Some people are vegetarian, some people are vegans. I don't have anything necessarily against any particular eating habits, uh, even the meat eaters. I will say, uh, some people make a good point, you know, obviously you don't want the animal to suffer. Anytime you're surviving to eat, don't let whatever it is that you're eating suffer. I'll leave it at that. And I don't know how he's going to take this, positive, negative, or either way. Um, the few things that I've made arguments for, <clears throat> everything, if everything is Brahmin, um, plant and animals, and um, then we're, we're eating Brahmin nonetheless. Um, what else? Um, sometimes there are some plants out there you do have to destroy to get the fruits or vegetables. Vegetables, actually. Fruits, on the other hand, I can't really argue against that because I do believe fruits in general you are supposed to eat because it is it is a way for animals to eat the fruits so you can poop out the seeds or spread the seeds. It's supposed to be that way. I think some vegetables may be a little bit different. However, all animals, on the other hand, you do have to terminate <laughs> and to, uh, to be able to eat it as opposed to... I think all fruits, you can pick the fruit and the plant will be fine. I think you're supposed to do that for fruits. So if you're a fruititarian, you got everyone beat, <laughs> pretty much. Vegetarian, there are maybe some vegetables that if you do take the, the, the plant, it will die. So meats, on the other hand, there's no excuse. You know, everything in meat, you, you do have to, uh, yeah. Let's go, get, go ahead and get started. We're free to share personal use, put on altars, allowed for any business use. The Vedic scriptures oh. simply pass a statement that all living things are sacred, including vegetables. Mm. Now look, I'm a vegetarian. So if I say, oh, I'm so special, I'm better than everything, I'm actually eating still living things. So recognize our limitation as human beings to live on other living things. It's our limitation. And let, let me also tell you something else. You may be surprised. A newspaper did survey in modern India, I don't know, a few years, a couple of years back, to see how many Hindus were vegetarian in India. Real survey, you can look it up on Google. And they found that 60% of Hindus in India, roughly 60%, in some state 50, in some state 70%, eat either fish, meat, seafood, uh, or eggs. 60 to 70. In India, Hindus eat fish, meat, seafood. Look, if you're a Bengali, you can't live without fish. If you're South Indian, you know, very, say Kerala, they, they live on seafood. It's natural diet for them. So if I said, all of you are out now, you're no longer Hindus, yeah, we lost all the Hindus then. There's nothing left. So Hinduism is not a vegetarian menu. But then why do we still promote vegetarianism? Let me tell you why. It's important for you to recognize this. You see, we know that we have to live on other living things, otherwise we die. We are in trouble. We are cursed, if you like. So we say, let us live on the least evolved living thing, say plants, rather than the most evolved thing, like animals who are like cows who are so close for comfort. So let's live on the least evolved living thing to survive, but not on the most, most evolved living thing. So we say, okay, let's draw a line. Plants, draw a line. Animals, you are coming too close for comfort. So we say, there is, so if you want to try, the reason why you can vegetarian is because you say, okay, let us now focus on life form which has got less number of senses. They don't, they don't, they won't go to scream when you cut them or something. Maybe they are, we don't know. Yeah, exactly. But that's why we stick, stick to plant life. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, we, we don't know how, I've heard <clears throat> maybe some, some plants can communicate. They, maybe they, when you cut them, they do bleed not necessarily red blood but it's a different kind of bleed and when you look at some plants that has damage you can see what looks like wounds on plants and trees so maybe just because they're different from us 
That doesn't necessarily make it like more okay. <clears throat> Again, I'm I'm not against anyone eating whatever they want. The one thing I will say is just don't whatever you eat, don't let it suffer. Even if you're not going to eat it and it's suffering or whatever, don't let it suffer. And I do have something to say about vegans though. And there are other advantages which is which is now becoming recognized. The other advantage being vegetarian are health reasons. It does promote better health, vegetarianism. Secondly, ecological reason. It is true. When you have food, say as a grass, then you have animals eating it, and the animals you eat the animals, there is an extra chain. Mm -hmm. And this creates problem, carbon dioxide problem. So they are saying perhaps by to, to for the eco ecological betterment, we may have to just say eat vegetables. But do you know what's the main reason why people become vegetarian? And I go to so many schools, when I especially go to English girls' schools, on the top schools, I ask the girls, are, are you vegetarian? Do you know what's the answer? I would say health reasons, probably. 20% are vegetarian. English girls are vegetarian, from my experience. And I say, why? You're not Hindus. And uh, do you know what the answer they give, which I love? They say, when we see the cruelty, hmm. The animals suffer before they are chopped and killed and eaten up. We can't stand it. So we told our mommy, for us vegetarians. We can be, they become vegetables, vegetarians in their own homes. Because the cruelty that they can in, you know, in, inflict on animal kingdom, they say we can't do it, we can't take it. And that touches me. See, that's natural way of being vegetarian. So when somebody says, Mr. Lakhani, should I be vegetarian? I say, look, if it's, you, you feel personally that it's time for you to give up meat, then give it up. But I will not say that if you eat meat, you are a horrible monster. I won't say that. I will say this, so he makes, that point is exactly how, I guess kind of how I look at it. When you go to veganism, people who are vegan, they'll say even if you're vegetarian, you're cruel, you use animals to to grow your gardens, you enslave them. Now you can make some kind of arguments, and it's like, no, we take care of our animals, and in payment, you know, we, we use them to help us produce food. And, um... <clears throat> But the thing so they'll say, no, 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 they have no choice in this. You're forcing them to do that. You're whipping them or you know, you don't you don't you don't sit there and you just wait for them to go and you don't you, you basically force them to till the grounds or whatever, you know. So again, you know, uh the cruelty thing, yes, absolutely that that shouldn't shouldn't happen and it's you can and an animal without it being cruel or, or torturing it or suffering it, you know. And again, plants, just because we can't communicate with them doesn't necessarily mean they're not suffering. It's just that we don't know. And we're saying they're lesser than us? Maybe? maybe. Again, the real reason why we think they're lesser than us is because we can't communicate with them. What if all of a sudden we're able to communicate with plants and they're so intelligent? <laughs> like we developed this device all of a sudden we can communicate with plants like oh wow we uh they're about as smart as uh say six-year-olds or something like that like whoa <laughs> what then that'd be weird <laughs> that would be weird and i will say this too like if there's an, uh, animals out there that are quite intelligent i think we have to draw a line somewhere for that too so for example I don't know, like dogs can be like, I think can be as smart as maybe two to four years old or something like that. There are some birds that you can actually talk to and can communicate in their intelligent range between like six years old. But then again, you look at certain parts of the country or the world, should I say, that uh, don't have a lot of access to foods and they're, they're, um, they're killing what in America would be considered pets like dogs, cats, and... Um, yeah, and to Americans, I'm sure they say, oh, that's cruel, why are they killing dogs? That's not food. Well, you know, you're an American, dude. You have a lot of choice for food. And because you see an animal one way, doesn't mean that other people, other cultures see animals in the same way. They do what they have to do to survive. You may not eat it, you may not like it, but it's what they have to do to survive. So, I, I, again, I, I, that's the reason why I don't, I don't, say oh you're bad for eating meat or eating vegetables or being vegan or anything like that it's just don't let it suffer that's all that is my minimum requirement don't let it suffer if you have to eat it I understand to survive then by all means and let's continue on so the arguments of the vegans against vegetarians about how you're using animals cruelty to animals vegans 
go so far as to they won't eat anything with animal products in it. So eggs are a no-go. Um, they won't use any animal fat, well, obviously. Anything with meat, anything to deal with animals, if animals has did, did anything to the vegetables, like you use an animal to plow the field and then you plant vegetables in it, that it, that's not vegan anymore. That's how far vegan has gone. I can have some respect for that, like people who go vegan, but my problem is like the ultra vegans or whatever they're called, where they 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 look down upon you. They think they're better than you. They think they think they're superior than you because, oh, I'm vegan and you're a vegetarian or you're a carnivore or you're you eat some you use animal products. Even if you even if you're a vegan yourself, but you you use an animal product or you live in a house that was built with that was had an animal that went by and they shoot it off and it's no longer vegan or something like that because <laughs> you didn't build it yourself knowing that every product that you use is, has no animal whatever those are the ones I can't stand again it's your choice to be vegan vegetarian carnivore whatever Mediterranean whatever kind of diet or whatever you want to do it's fine so long as you don't talk like you're superior to someone else or that you're better than everyone else there's this one YouTube video where I watch this one guy, oh my gosh, he was terrible. And this is a thing I do believe that, so far, as far as I can tell, Americans, I'm sure there's probably in, in, in Western countries, Western countries, <clears throat> that they, they have the luxury to be vegan. <laughs> so basically, a lot of countries out there, they have to eat what they can. Um, and there are a lot of countries out there who need animals to make products, produce, and whatnot, who don't have the luxuries of using high-tech equipment or to have lots of uh, farmland to grow whatever crops they want. You know, that's a that's a thing that America can provide. Yes, America can buy fruits and vegetables from other countries or plant their own in here and they have plenty of farmland or if not even farmland you can have just a patch of dirt soil and then you can mix something into that dirt soil to make it very farmable. And it's this entitlement kind of deal where you know veganism or veganism this ultra veganism I guess I don't know what you want to call them a word is like, oh my gosh, I am so better than you, and and the, we, they just get this option, like like living particular lifestyles. It's just, and they think they're better than you because of that. Need to stop ranting. <laughs> it it doesn't really necessarily tick me off, but it's just it's kind of cringy and just sad to see people who think they're better than everyone else because they live a particular lifestyle and that lifestyle usually costs a lot of money to find to buy products that wasn't tested on animals or that, or animals had nothing to do with it i mean you're paying premium sums for that so basically the a lot of the entitled people are generally upper middle class people i'm not saying all of them but that's where they tend to come from i think rich families generally speaking where they never had to touch garbage when they unpack their unpack their whatever they're eating, someone else unpacked it for them, and then they picked up. The, I don't know, <laughs> you know, I don't know rich people, so <laughs> I mean, everything I've had to do for for the most part on my own. I talk too much. Let's go. Because we, there is no such injunction as such. Hinduism is very open, but it recognizes our human failing, human limitation. Mm. So it may take time for us to move away from meat eating to vegetarian. Don't impose it on the people. Mm. If I impose it, look, all of Bengal is out of Hinduism. All of Bengal, fish eaters, including my mentor, Vivekanand. Oh, I'm in trouble. So be careful. Free e-learning course. In uh, but yeah, so yeah, that, and again, that's the philosophy that I follow. Like, again, you know, if you, you want to eat meat, fine. Eat vegetables, fine. Be vegan, vegetarian, carnivore, omnivore. You know, whatever whatever it is that you want to be, just don't let it suffer. If you want to be vegan, by all means, if you have that luxury to be vegan, then dang, I need to find that job. <laughs> if you vegetarian, it's a little bit different. Vegetables do cost quite a bit. It's just trying to find 
with vegetables, for the most part, you have to you have to prep it really well, get lots of different kinds of spices and stuff, and know how to cook that for it to be flavorful, in my opinion. And trust me, I think Indians got that nailed down, <laughs> for the most part. I've tried some Indian food. Oh my gosh, delicious. Um, especially the bread and that green, I like green whatever it is so good with the bread oh my gosh i need i need to i need to do the uh mukbang of that i guess um but yeah and meat's pretty expensive so i eat generally beef chicken i wish i, I wish i could eat seafood but that's super expensive <clears throat> but anyways again much like your ways of life religion your your culture, your eating habits, your ideas, so long as you're not forcing it on anyone, mad respect, live the way you want to live, I, I do I do go by the philosophy, uh, <laughs> the philosophy of uh, live and let live kind of deal, um, I don't know if Osho would be uh, so proud of that, <laughs> live and let live, I mean, it, I mean, you know, as long as, it's almost kind of like uh, tolerance, <laughs> <laughs> it's like vegan tolerating um carnivores <laughs> that that doesn't work so well, but again that's why I guess that's why I'm kind of very flexible with my ideas is because I understand for the most part anyways that's my reaction to why I eat meat that's a very long rant if you like my content please consider subscribing thumbs up thumbs down and below thanks for watching I'll see you in the next vid.